We've come here today to announce the latest steps we're taking to reduce what remains a persistent health risk, especially for our city's young people. New York's Mayor Bloomberg announced his latest health initiative that would mandate tobacco products such as cigarettes to be kept in cabinets or under the counter. First, we're proposing legislation that would prohibit display of tobacco products in most retail establishments. The reason? Such displays suggest that smoking is a normal activity and they invite young people to experiment with tobacco. This is not a normal activity and experimenting when you have something that's addictive is the first step to being addicted. If Bloomberg is able to pass this law, the cigarettes could only be seen during purchase and restocking. These laws would protect New Yorkers, especially the young and impressionable New Yorkers, from pricing, discounts and exposure to in-store displays that promote tobacco products, products whose use is addictive and whose consequences can be deadly. We asked a few New Yorkers what they think about the mayor's health binge. People want the cigarettes, they can find them if they really want them. They don't need to have all the banners and all of that stuff around behind the counter for kids to go into stores. It's, it's not going to help that much, but uh, probably for the young kids, yeah, you can say that. But, I mean, it depends. All It, it all depends. Uh, history has shown that it never helped. Listen, this is our time because who want that? They ask people and the store people or store manager or anybody. You have a cigarette? Everybody knows. Yeah, I have a cigarette. They can give me inside or outside. It's not a big deal. The measure is scheduled to be introduced March 20th. This is Anthony Gonsalves for the New York Post.